everything about the trending video is wrong. This video. The police driver stopped us. I thought he was even come to send a driver. My Where the police wanted to search through her bag because she looks suspicious. First, understand that the police has the right to search through your bag. But here is why they were wrong. The mere fact that she looks suspicious does not give them the right to search through her bag. The same law that said the police has the right to search also stated that the police only has the right to search when they have a reasonable cause to believe that a person is carrying an unlawful or an illegal item. What then does the reasonable cause mean? In the case of George v. Rocket in 1970, reasonable cause was defined as the existing fact or the existence of fact. That makes it sufficient for a reasonable person to induce that another person is carrying a stolen or an unlawful item. Let me break this down for you. The principle of reasonable cause does not deal with mere suspicion. It requires that there should be an evidence that would lead you or that would lead the police to suspect that such illegal act is going on. Thus, the police should have a valid and logical reason before they can set through your back. Different people interpret facial expression differently. What the police officer saw that time was a suspicious look. Another person would have seen a young lady with fear printed all over her face, meaning looking suspicious alone, just as I said, is not the sufficient reasonable cause. Example of reasonable cause. Assuming she threw her back the instant she was stopped, that is a reasonable cause to suspect that she had something in her bag. Assuming she tried hiding a bag from the police, that is also a reasonable cause to suspect that something is in the bag. Assuming it has also been reported that a lady in black is carrying a gun without intention to murder her ex-boyfriend, that is also a reasonable cause to give the police the right to sit through her bag. Understand this, once you are not detained or arrested, the police would then need a reasonable cause before they can search through your bag. What I've just done in law is known as the literal rule, where the court used words in the law to explain the original meaning of the law. Now back to her case, she can sue the police service and she's definitely going to be compensated. I'm not going to tell you how, just call your lawyer, he will help you out with that. Now this is my advice to you, you cannot fight the police, they do all they can to protect us, therefore wherever you feel your rights are being violated, Feel free to record and initiate a legal action and trust me, you are going to be compensated. This is just a quick response since I've been tagged over 20 times. And in fact, my personal interpretation. However, there will be a full lecture on this and it will be posted on our YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the link is in our bio. And also follow me here for more legal tips. It could save your life. Till we meet again, stay safe.